makes you think you're stronger than the very momentum of history? Action is inevitable. For his thrilling new film, Brian Singer, the director of The Usual Suspects, X-Men, and Superman Returns, has assembled an international cast to bring this incredible true-life story to the big screen. The cast is absolutely fantastic, the best I've ever seen. They are all playing real people from history involved in the plot to assassinate Adolf Hitler. It's Tom Cruise is Klaus von Stauffenberg, Kenneth Branagh, Bill Nye, Tom Wilkinson, Christian Burkel, Carice Van Houten, Terrence Stamp, and Eddie Izzard. I am involved in high treason with all means available to me. We have to kill Hitler. Tom has an intensity, he has an intelligence, he has a passion that I think is perfect for Stauffenberg. We can serve Germany or the Fuhrer, not both. They knew that Stauffenberg someone who greatly opposed Hitler. They needed someone with his level of skill to move the resistance forward. He joined the staff of the High Command and went to work immediately with the other plotters to topple Hitler's government. You came to us as a wounded soldier. Now you're the architect and the assassin. He really recognized the ramifications of what Hitler was doing and what the Nazi regime was doing and realized what the stakes were. And he was one of the very few that had the courage to stand up to him and even be willing to sacrifice his own life to try to get that done. It only matters that we act now, otherwise... This will always be Hitler's Germany. Fresco was a career soldier, and it was from very early on that he was already voicing some significant dissent about Adolf Hitler and what he was doing. He didn't have the greatest access to Hitler, so he became key in recruiting Klaus von Stauffenberg. Initiate Operation Valkyrie. People like General Ulbricht were not only deeply ashamed to be associated with this buffoon, but also deeply grieved by the loss of men. He was a family man. He was a deeply honorable man. He was given all the big organizing bureaucratic jobs. So therefore, he was uh, very beautifully placed to organize something like this assassination plot. You can tell your friends, Colonel, that I always come down on the right side. And as long as the Fuhrer is alive, you know what side that is. Tom Wilkinson plays General Fromm, who is a necessary part of the coup. Ulbrich and Stauffenberg specifically go to Fromm to recruit him, and they discover that Fromm is a lot more wily than they had anticipated. Like most people that the conspiracy tried to recruit, unless Hitler was dead, he wasn't going to side with them. He was going to side with whoever was in power. Tom doesn't play Fromm as an opportunist, but more someone who is trying to survive and excel in this very difficult world. He's a political maneuverer. I want another man on the committee. Who? Him. Mertz was, as Stauffenberg, also a colonel. He was a close friend of Stauffenberg. They went to study at the military academy together. Mertz is coming into the operation by explaining the bomb. Hitler's bunker will magnify the blast. It is constructed of reinforced concrete, a steel door, no windows. The air pressure generated by just one of these explosives in a space like that will kill everyone instantly. From this moment on, you know that the whole thing is going to be about really killing Hitler Mertz and Hefton were the two people who, without question, followed the game plan, never gave up, and served Stauffenberg right to the end. If I fail, they'll come for you. They'll come for all of you. I know. This woman is so incredibly strong to love this man unconditionally and to really say, this is your job, don't worry, just do it, because you want to not save only your family, but worlds. Nina, unlike the rest of them, was not involved in the coup in a way that she could control the events going on around her, but probably had more to lose than all of them. This is a military operation. Nothing ever goes according to plan. He recognized that Hitler was a lunatic very early on and was the first one of the generals to resign his commission. One of the things that impresses Stauffenberg is the fact that Beck is there because he can't really discount Beck. He was a sort of a hero in his own right. When the SS catch you, they will pull you apart. Erich Falgieber was a, a career officer. He was in charge of all of Hitler's communications. Erich Falgieber meets with Stauffenberg. He needs someone inside to be part of the resistance. 
If you want to live through the night, you will do exactly as I say. The characters are complex, and that interests me. And yet it's a cool story, one that very few people really know about. The goal was to not make a World War II film. This is really a thriller that happens to be set in and around World War II. This really is more of a conspiracy film. It's different from any World War II movie you've seen before. Valkyrie.